again and welcome to Sullivan's Farm. What I'm hoping to show you this afternoon is finally fitting that water truck inside in the far upside of the, the new shed um, and trying to justify why I didn't put it in all the, the other places or the, the three or four other options they, uh, where it could have gone. Um, thanks again for all the suggestions on that. I took them all on board. Uh, ignored them. No, I didn't ignore them all. I took them all on board and um, tried to figure out from there where it should go. Um, but sure, look, we, we won't know if it's in the right place or not until we put it in and um, we'll figure it from there. So first job though is to move the Wainlands. Here are the beasts themselves. Uh, from this is their, uh, not quite second last paddock, but second last paddock in this field. Um, they've done a decent enough job considering the, the weather we've had. Um, and we're not the types to make the beasts skin it off and, and kind of dog them until the thing is is, is like a snooker table or something. Um, and they're going into here. This is their last paddock in this field. And then they've won a couple of paddocks, two paddocks over uh, beside the fodder rape. And then they're straight in on that um, in the next week, 10 days. So um, we'll move these anyway. They're happy enough with the move. They, they've been picking away on the straw that they were getting and the, the one kg of cubes, they were getting split over two feeds just to, to, to be extra nice to make sure they all get their, their share of it. Um, we castrated the 10 bull calves or bull wainlands as well there at the weekend. Um, thankfully the weather wasn't that torrential on them um, and they seem to have recovered okay. Apparently they're, they'd be sore for a few days, but um, they'll be all right after that so um yeah we'll we'll go from there come on so 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 are the, the dyna bolts then that we're, we're going to be banging into the wall in a minute. They, they just go straight in like that I think and then the bolt goes on here at the end if I can get it on and it, it just pulls through the, the kind of club end of it here then and it expands it and it never stirs. That's the theory at least. We'll see how that goes. It would have been an awful lot easier to go at this job before the cattle came in. I wouldn't have to kneel in that kind of stuff then. But sure, look, I think we're getting there. There's one side, the other side. And uh, if we can get the camera in there, that side and that side. So we'll tighten them up now and hopefully we'll be ready to start connecting in water pipes then. None of these jobs ever go straight forward for me anyway. I'm after breaking a couple of dyna bowls or just putting them in wrong and I had to go to the, the farmer leaf there to get two more while I was picking up the eldest fella from school. But I think it's in place now anyway. Um, I, I tried to get it as level as I could and then I put in the spirit level just for the camera. Uh, so it, it, it kind of looks good anyway at least. So the pair timers lament again unfortunately now I'm not going to get a chance to finish it. I need to give them a bail. I need to do a bit of cleaning and I still need to do other bits and pieces around there. So it's in place and all going well. I'll get the water pipe connected up tomorrow evening. Back over again to the shed for more messing with the water. We have our water pipe here, our truck here, and we're going to be bringing it around at the back to teen down there where the truck is for the, the store cattle at the moment. So what I did was to tee into the existing pipe that's going to the this water truck here in the far down corner, just tee in there and then run the pipe the length of the shed along by the timber there, back and over to the water truck in the corner. <laughs> There's the pipe running along and this was the way I was kind of holding it 
in place with a little bit of that, that whatever kind of a mesh type thing it's called. Um, and then I got a brainwave and I just started doubling it over and halved the work and saved seven screws. So I'm on my way to being a millionaire. This time next year, Rodney, as somebody said on Twitter. So that's the water truck in place at long last anyway. It was another half hour job that took me a half day across several days and several evenings to do it. But you look, that, that's the nature of, of being part time and, and putting up a new shed and, and trying to get things done at the last minute. So it's there. I'm hoping there's sometimes a little bit of a breeze comes in around that corner and the Wainlands don't seem to be congregating up in there, up in that corner too much. So I'm hoping they won't poop or, or piddle in it uh, or not, not an awful lot. Anyway, but we'll have to see how it goes. The last thing to show you with the shed here before we, we move on is that um, a couple of people said the right place to put the water truck was out at the back of the pen, out through the wall there. But I didn't have a console and I, I just don't have the time to, to do it right. So, but it might be a project for over Christmas when I'm uh, off from the, the college job for a couple of days or, or it might be a job for next summer, but we'll do it at some stage. And I just want to mention that because I want to say thanks very much again for all the ideas and the comments and the suggestions as to where to put the, the water trucks. The last thing I'm going to show you now is the, the new crush gate we got fitted during the week and it got a baptism of fire yesterday when we were cutting the, the horns off the, the store cattle. So we'll go down for a look at that and um, if anybody is a bit squeamish, there's, there's nothing to see now, there's just a little bit of blood. Uh, that's the, the job done at last anyway, it's getting dark again as you can see and then what delayed things there was a pause in the middle of it all because the, I think you can see the remnants of it there and there, the, the vet called and we cut the horns off those nine big cattle. Um, it was the first time, well first time it happened here in about 30 years and the last time it'll ever again happen. Um, I'll, I'll just never again let calves through the net like that. I bought them as reared calves, I thought they were too big to do. At that stage, and I could only do them now, I thought this was the first opportunity. Or the horns would grow back if they were done when they were younger. But the vet explained that wasn't the case. So look, you live and learn. The job is done, and we'll drive on from there. We're down at the other yard now. So there's the first thing to show you, I guess. That's the, the old crush gate. Um, took it out during the week. It doesn't owe us that in any way. I have a vague recollection of another crush gate being in place, but... But that, that's at least 30, if not 35 years ago. So that one doesn't owe us much anyway. Um, we'll go over then quickly to see the the new one. That um, same man who put in the feed barriers came over and fitted it there during the week as well. It was getting dark and everything, but there you can kind of see it. And there's a bit of the remnants. Look away now. If you're squeamish, there's a remnants from um, cutting the, the horns off the big stores yesterday so that's kind of it it's um an o'neill's gate and there was a bit of work needed here to to make it fit there was just the piece had to be welded on the piers weren't straight um but sure again they were of a time there was there was it wasn't their fault they weren't straight so that's kind of it and there's the the remnants the collection of the horns yesterday it was um not a very pleasant job but look it had to be done and it's the first time and the last time it's had to be done here. Um, I think, again, I remember it being done maybe 30 or 35 years ago around the place. But I won't get caught buying calves like that again and, and letting them run on so long because it isn't much crack. So that's it. Thanks a million for watching and subscribing and liking and all that. And we'll, we'll drive on at that. The day is sunny, so we might get some bit of work done today. And we'll talk to you at the weekend. Good luck. <laughs>